This is the Nob. So, welcome back to the Nob Gospel Show on your favorite channel, CFIR LM TV. I promised you, Ale, we're going to come back with our guest. And our guest is in the house. Yo. What's up? Niaja Mike. Yeah, it's really good to be here. And, uh -huh. uh, oh, Niaja. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Oh, Paul. Paul. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know Swahili. Oh, you know Swahili? <laughs> Oh, so at least when you will, at least we'll have a little uh, chat here with you in Swahili, yes. and at least you'll understand, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. So how how do you feel being in Kenya? Oh my gosh, I love it. It's ever since I landed, I landed, I got here about a week ago, and the hospitality has been just nothing but love. Everybody treats me so well here, and I just I'm really really blessed and grateful to be here, mm -hmm. and uh, and I just love the area. I love Ruai. I mm -hmm. love um, Nairobi. It's just mm -hmm. it's nice. I love it. Yeah, wow, that's so cool. So any favorite dish that you have noticed so far? My favorite dish is uh, yamachoma. Yamachoma? <laughs> With some ugali. <laughs> oh, ugali. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Maze wasi wasembe, wasi wasembe, maze wasi wasembe. Yamachoma. Yamachoma. I think Irene too loves yamachoma. So I think now you guys, uh, you guys have met, eh? Mm -hmm. Me, I can only take uh, kukuchoma. Kukuchoma, yeah. yeah and samaki choma. <laughs> you, eat, you eat a lot of fish, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I eat Tilapia. a lot of fish. Yeah, I, I, I like fish. I don't, know, I don't know how you know that. It's <laughs> my best friend. We know each that other already. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so by the way, Mike is my very good friend. And he is right here in Kenya because there's a very big event going on tomorrow here in Ruai at a mm -hmm. place known as Block 10 mm -hmm. in the church known as Revelation at Eternity Citywide Church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also Mike is a very good minister mm -hmm. and uh, he's here just to minister to people and he also has uh, something that he is also about to start here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So at least uh, as we talk with him right here, mm -hmm. you'll know what what are his plans here in Nairobi, mm -hmm. when where he will be each and every day doing one, two, three things. Right, Mike? Yeah, yeah. Kind of a lot going on, you know, but uh, I came here first and foremost just to serve God mm -hmm. and be a part of the Current Flame International RLM TV ministry Amen. Um, as well as uh, Revelation and Eternity Church, Prophet Shadrach's Church. Mm -hmm. And uh, man... Um, I'm just going back and forth between the two and just serving wherever there's a need. You know, I just want to be available for God. Uh, mainly, I do a lot of music, so I've been leading worship and um, just doing a lot of music stuff uh, with Thunder Sun and the guys here at the studio. But, um, I mean, sky's the limit. I mean, Amen. we have a lot planned. We have a big event coming up, and we are excited. We're stoked. We're really fired up for it, in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, yeah Irene, any question for my Mzungu friend? <laughs> Your Mzungu friend. Yeah. yeah. So, Mike, you know, mostly the, the knob is about the, the generation who are serving God. Mm -hmm. So, can you just please give us a nutshell of your journey as where you are from and then how you began and how you became a Christian. Absolutely. Yeah, I have a pretty crazy testimony. Um, I got pretty, I got saved pretty radically. Um, so five years ago, I got saved. Before that, I was, um, I was a drug addict for many years. You know, I was lost completely. Um, just lost in sin, just in darkness, um, you name it. Any, you know, sin is sin at the end of the day, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, five years ago, I went to a Christian program in the United States called Teen Challenge, and I got radically born again. And uh, I just never looked back. I've been on fire for Jesus ever since. Mm -hmm. um, he commissioned me to be a worship leader, and I've just been um, following Jesus and going after him full on ever since. And now I'm here in Africa. It's crazy where the Lord will take you once you start following him. You'll never, he's uh, abundantly and exceedingly abon beyond any expectation you could ever imagine. He'll take you. Amen. So at least those that are uh, suffering or dealing with drugs right now yeah. and are trying like uh, to go to rehab or so are trying maybe to leave and it's hard for you, just know that there is hope for you. As mm. you have seen Mike here, Mike yeah. had a challenge and he overcame it. So it's upon you also, you can overcome all this when you are focused and whatever thing that you want is just making up your mind, right? Yes, absolutely. It's a choice. Yeah, so if you have chosen to give up on drugs, you can do that and at least your life can also be better like Mike's. You see, like right now he's here dedicated to serve the Lord. It's not easy seeing like a man such as Michael uh, dedicating his time to serve the Lord. It means like he has seen a lot and he has now decided to give it all to Christ. Amen, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is the experience if you can compare the life when you're living 
in the in worldly mm-hmm. in now that you're just carrying Christ as your Lord and Savior? What is the Oh my gosh. Comparison? It's like not even comparable. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I have such a fun life. I wake up every day mm-hmm. full of the Holy Spirit, full of energy, full of joy, and it's the joy of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Because nobody can take your joy from you because they didn't give it to you. Mm-hmm. The yeah. Lord gives us our joy. Yeah. God gives us our joy and our happiness and our freedom and our peace. Yeah. So when you wake up with that perspective, you can just move forward in Christ every single day and live a great life. Wow, that is a wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so can you talk, uh, uh, and as, as I've been seeing you play the guitar all yeah. through it. Can you, uh, your experience, how, why you, 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 you did choose the guitar, not the piano, not the mic, yeah, yeah. So when I was in grade school, when I was young, I started messing around a little bit with guitar, and then I really wasn't serious about it. I just knew a couple chords here and there, pretty much like everyone else, you know. Usually, most people know a few chords, you know. Yeah. But then I got saved, I got born again, and I started playing guitar. And I'm telling you, it was almost like a supernatural progression. Like the like the Lord commissioned me to be a worship leader, and I started playing and practicing, and it was just like all of a sudden, um, I just started getting. Uh, it just became really, um, really natural to me to play guitar and sing. So I just rolled with it. And next thing you know, I've just been leading worship at churches and different events. And here I am now just playing music all the time for the Lord. Can I take you just a bit back? Mm-hmm. So, you know, each and, each and every of us, we have an encounter with God. Like this is the day that God just made for you and then said, you know what, Michael? Today you ha- From today you have to serve me. Mm-hmm. What was that? The main point that you said, you know what, from today I, Michael, Mm -hmm. have to serve God. What? How did God come through to you? Like saying, you know, my child, today we just want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. We have to communicate to you. I have to be the guider, the controller, you know, of Mm -hmm. your life. Yeah. Yeah. I actually remember that day uh, very specifically. I was uh, I was in uh, New York, mm-hmm. the United States, New York, uh, the city, New York City. It's where the program was that I went through to get um, clean off drugs and discipled. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was about two weeks into the program. I wasn't fully set on God yet, mm-hmm. you know, when I went in. Mm-hmm. And I was still unsure. I said, is, is this real? Like, is God real? Like, does he really love me? And mm-hmm. had all these questions. And then about two weeks in, I'll never forget, a pastor came in and gave a really powerful word, um, and it just really resonated. This with me. is the knob. <laughs> I'm forgiven because you were forsaken. I'm accepted. You were condemned. I'm alive and well, your spirit lives within me Because you died and rose again Amazing love, how can it be? You, my king, would die for me Amazing love, I know it's true my joy to honor you <laughs> and all I do I honor you Oh I honor you Lord Sing it again oh, I'm forgiven because you were forsaken I'm accepted you were condemned I'm alive and well, your spirit lives within me Because you died and rose again Amazing love, how can it be? The thing would die for me <laughs> Amazing love, I know it's true it's my joy to honor you And all I do I honor you Jesus, you are my King Jesus, you are my King Jesus, you are my King Jesus, you are my king. Amazing.
passing love, how old can it be? That you, my king, would die for me. Amazing love, I know it's true. And it's my joy to honor you and all I do. Wow, 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 wow. What an amazing song from Michael Disabato all the way from United States of America. And this guy is right here in Kenya. And he's, he's, he told me like he's here to stay. Like he doesn't like going back to the US. Man. Yeah. Hey man, I like for, this. He's a very cool kind of a person, man. Yeah. I've been around him for quite a long time. By the way, uh, he was the first person to gift me in 2021. Yeah, man, Actually, God. he gifted me with a phone. Yeah. Actually, this phone. Yeah, so Amen. man, hey, you have been a blessing to me. Praise this was the first person to surprise me with something 2021. <laughs> I'm very much excited, and uh, I thank you so much for at least coming through. And I know, like, uh, you're gonna be a blessing to many people's life right here in Kenya mm-hmm. because, like, uh, drug has been one of the things that have been affecting people. And mm-hmm. uh, on that note, I want to ask you, like, uh, this question, like. Uh, are you planning like to do something on uh, the youth of Kenya, maybe? Absolutely. I would love to. Um, actually, at my apartment complex where I live, there's a lot of kids who just play soccer all the time. And I really, me and uh, Prophet Shadrach and even Youth Anderson were, are uh, really praying about organizing some sort of youth soccer academy um, just to get the kids active and involved. And then also, obviously, of course, 100%, we, you know, we put God first in everything we do. So we're going to have Bible studies with them and you know, just share the love of Christ with them. Amen. Yeah, man. So if mm-hmm. you are a youth outside there and uh, you are you are maybe suffering from drugs or maybe you are addict, you are a drug addict and you want to come out of the drugs, Michael Disabato mm-hmm. is right here for you. He can at least assist you get out of there because he was there. At yeah. least he has experience because maybe some of the drugs that he used might be stronger than those that uh, you are using yeah. right now. So at least when you are with him, um, when he's talking to you, at least there are those few tips or few stuff that you can learn from him mm-hmm. and it can make you at least change from that situation at least to a better situation so if you're watching me live right now and like you are suffering uh, or maybe you are a drug addict or maybe there's something you are struggling from uh, my brother mike is right here in kenya he'll be here for quite a long time yeah. at least you might find time just in boxes all your details uh, we're gonna give it to him at least uh, he can know how he can handle you so you just don't pop in like boom now you know i'm this and this and no just come uh, follow the protocol at least in boxes at least we know uh, how we can uh, we can make arrangements where, where you can find Mike. Mm-hmm. Uh, we organize that day. At least he can sit down with you. At least explain A, B, C, D to you, and he, he can help you overcome that kind of stuff. And also, if you are talented in football or you are talented in a kind of uh, any basketball or only basketball, football, football both. Yeah, so you remember like uh, in the USA we have soccer and football. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's talking about soccer. Irene, yeah. what do you think? I think it's this is actually a nice experience. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't even know how to touch a guitar, but when somebody <laughs> plays around me, I feel like, you know, I just want to dance. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I think I'll learn one, two, three things from him also. Mm-hmm. And before we let Mike go, um, there is one thing I want to ask him. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he has had an experience of people who are using drug in Kenya, mm-hmm. but because he has the knowledge of people using drug in Africa and in the US. Maybe probably can he tell us the difference, if there is a difference on drug abuse in the US or in Kenya or if the things that you're doing are the same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I, a drug is a drug, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. At yeah. the end of the day, mm-hmm. um, every country has different drugs and different things, but at the end of the day, addiction's addiction is mm-hmm. addiction. You're, what you're doing is you're putting something in your life and placing mm-hmm. it higher than God. Mm-hmm. and ultimately that's what it is and addiction to drugs is one of those things that's really 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 hard to stop on your own almost impossible yeah. I, I don't know if I know anyone who stopped on their own you mm-hmm. know yeah. and that's why we need God when we are weak he is strong he's the one within us that helps us overcome those things mm-hmm. yeah so amen mm-hmm. so that's great and uh, right now Michael uh, our curriculum is now back Mm-hmm. I, uh, is, uh, school in your country is now open. <laughs> yeah, everything. Um, actually, I think I just talked to my mom yesterday, and this is in New Jersey, New York area. She said that they're actually um, 
they took a break again for a couple mm -hmm. weeks. I think the numbers were starting to rise again. Oh. So, but yeah. So for the new year, I think they're taking a month and not going. But I think they're going to be back after a month. Yeah. Oh, you know, as they are right here in Kenya, now we are back in schools. Yeah. And you know, from last year, March, mm -hmm. the kid has not been back to school. Yeah. So like, uh, they're now back in January. So like, yeah. a new year, then boom, we're back to school. You know, most like, uh, most parents did uh, maybe plan for their kids to go back to school like right now. Mm -hmm. It has affected them very much because uh -huh. the fees are high. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the transport, because some goes to boarding schools and you know, Boarding schools here in Kenya charge very high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like now the expense is so high, um, and the, the expectations also from the parents are very high. They were never employed because they were employed and some got fired because of the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. uh, some even lost their jobs uh, in this uh, period. And now you see like uh, once you are out of your job, you know there are bills to pay. There, there's food to be eaten in that, yeah. that house. And now boom, the government uh, pops in and tells you now back. Uh, yeah. You need to go back now to school and now you need to again when now you enter school now uh the the principals and the staff tells you now to pay the fees mm -hmm. yeah. you see now how, how how hard that is now to the kenyan so yeah. uh at least maybe i think maybe in your country is a little bit different yeah uh, it's it's different we don't we don't actually like pay to go to school like mm -hmm. what do you guys pay like a monthly mm -hmm. is it like every month you pay for your child to go to school is that how it works mm -hmm. uh, some pay monthly but some pay per term oh per term okay yeah. yeah so you know we pay through taxes but it's just a little bit different of a system mm -hmm. so public school is essentially free though you know in the united states i mean taxes pay the teachers and stuff it's not i want to say it's free it's not completely free but we pay in a different type of way we don't just pay straight up here's money my kid goes to school it's not really how it works there it's a little bit different yeah i think i should go to the u.s <laughs> yeah you should New York, here we come yeah. Yeah, well, i think my kids should uh, study in the u.s because i, th I yeah. think at least when uh, my kids study there they'll get the, uh, good opportunities to get good jobs here in Kenya. Yeah. Because now, you know, in Kenya, we are told to be to go to school and learn and study hard. And then uh, after you have learned hard and uh, those people that went to the U.S. maybe and, or maybe to other countries to study, once they are back to Kenya, they get employed, you don't get employed. Yeah. And you know, like, it's the same government that are still telling you, like, you know, you need to go to school, you need to learn harder and harder, you need to do this A, B, C, D. But now when a person now comes off, from other countries now they are given jobs so yeah. to us sometimes it's uh, normally hard for us here mm -hmm. uh, in Kenya the education system mm -hmm. you take long to study but uh, you find people with degrees now trekking around trying to look mm -hmm. for jobs you know yeah. yeah so it has been very frustrating for us mm -hmm. and I understand you guys at least you are a little bit better because uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't pay that much yeah. yeah so I want us to go for a short commercial break and then uh, DJ Totarudi up on Angomakada Ivi. Then we'll be back uh, with Michael Disabato right here. See you after this. This is the knob. I am your favorite host, and the sun. And my co host, Apa Ivi, and I turn on you, you host to Angola. Irene Miscaption, Pomoza, and Michael. Mm. What's yeah, up, yeah. Guys? How you doing? Mm. Yeah, we are Anaito Bazenga, Michael. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The Michael, the guardian angel, man, say, mm -hmm. uh, he's one uh, one of a cool guy. If you are around him, you can understand that. And uh, he's a man like after transformation uh, and transforming people's lives. So it's not all about uh, what you can do to what you can do to get something, but it's all about what you can do for you to receive that favor from God. Uh, you know, God normally puts you in a situation. And then he makes sure, like you see him, and then you will know exactly that this is God has taken me out of this situation. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, for instance, I want to ask Michael this question. Have you ever been into a situation, have you have been struggling with this situation for quite a long time, and then uh, last minute, uh, you feel like God left you, but later on, you think like uh, God came through and he did everything. Have you, been, have you ever been into such a situation? Yeah, many situations like that. Uh, even just coming here to Africa, you know, I, I, I knew the, the Lord has had um, commissioned me to to go to the nations and spread the gospel, you know. Yeah. But um, I uh, a pastor one time told me this and it always stuck with me. And I always believe this and, and tell this to other people, too, that, you know, the teacher is always quiet during the test. Yeah. You know, yeah. when you're taking the test, he's, the teacher's not going to come and give you all the answers. He's going to wait until you're done with the test and then he's going to grade you. Right. Yeah. It's the same with God. He's he's he wants to. He wants you to trust him and build your faith. So it's a step-by-step -step journey. Yeah, you know, uh, so there was a certain story like I, I was taught with my primary school teacher. He was like, uh, there was a man who used to complain a lot 
Uh, there was a time like uh, he could uh, see God and uh, later on uh, things went tough and that guy died. Wow. And then later on he went to heaven and then uh, he was like, you know God, there's a point you used to carry me, you used to walk with me, but later on you escaped. So now God now played like kind of a video and uh, this guy could not see himself, he could not see God. So what he could see, he could just see footsteps. So he saw uh, first step, he saw like uh, three set of uh, footsteps. Mm -hmm. So that was God him and maybe the enemy so as they were walking the steps now reduced to two so now he was it was him and god then it reached it reached a point in life now where now the steps remain to be two now you to remain now just one set of steps so now he was like uh, telling god like you know this is now the time that you left me and then god uh, looked at him and told him like this is now the point where i carried you so now uh, some, there's uh, maybe somebody watching us out there and maybe they are in maybe that bad situation like things are not working for them. Uh, it no, it is not that uh, things are not working. God is working something for you. If mm. God is not working on you, God is working on it. So you should always be focused and always give God the glory for every situation. Because uh, I have understand like uh, most Christians, they give up easily mm -hmm. because they think like God is not performing it and now they try to look for other ways to make sure like uh, the things go the way they want. Here in Kenya or maybe in Africa, uh, we are famous with the juju, like uh, black magic. Mm -hmm. So when things don't work uh, out the way you expect them to work, you go to those witchcraft, uh, to the witches, mm -hmm. they do something for you and uh, you succeed. So they are forgetting like... Uh, they forget like God performs at the right time, yeah. you know. And uh, sometimes, uh, the reason why I was telling you like uh, God puts you in a situation, you might be struggling with something and you think like it's you, you are doing everything. So God sometimes leaves you for you to see like uh, everything that you have been doing is not all about you, mm -hmm. but it's all about God. And I'm happy like everything like you do right now here in Kenya, you are acknowledging God for everything. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was another person, maybe they'd be like, you know, I've done this, I've done that, I've done this. But you know, at the moment you are here, even as you are talking right now, you acknowledge God in each and every step that you have you have taken now so far to this place. Leo? Mm. Yeah. Amen. So uh, I want us to go at least to read the comments again. Uh, we see what the, these guys are trying to tell us today. So uh, it's a very amazing show. And I'm sorry, guys, we had a few technical issues here and there, but I believe uh, my team is working out to perfect it. And uh, come on to me on Facebook Lite, you can refresh and watch us live uh, again in a very well, uh, in a very perfect manner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can just refresh. So uh, in the comment section, yeah, there's one you was saying, like, uh, nice show, guys. So, oh, Rami pia ame comment hapo. Siju kama umeona hiyo, Rami anasema naona tuko mbele pamoja. Mhm. Mm yeah, asante sana Rami. Yeah. So, uh, let me check another one. Asante, yet thank you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are really working on these cool. things fast. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> Mr. Hope ako na comment hapo. Mhm. Mm anasema moja ya Mr. Hope. Yeah, Mr. Hope uh, anakuanga tundi sana. He's a good friend of mine actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Hope, Mr. Katambe, mm -hmm. let's meet up with Voko Office na tuongee maneno mawili matatu. Kashai hivi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least one ene aje nakuwa and uh, if you are watching us li right now live, help us share the broadcast and let it reach to many people. Uh, my brother he has a lot of stories to tell you guys and he has a lot of transforming messages that he want to give to you guys. Uh, also I have uh, Davis Sa eh, Kasam. Kasam. Mm -hmm. I think I'm so. saying Kabisa play for me, Mimi so play for me. Mimi song, song for Mimi. Yake, double P. I think you have played one of the songs, right? Mm -hmm. My DJ. At my chess and go many to a chess and an Yeah, and maybe Yeah, we come, played it. Yeah, maybe it'll come maybe maybe after maybe But die, but die. Yeah. So uh what are some of the things like uh, you like here in Kenya? Um, I would say the weather first. Mm -hmm. That's really, I mean, the people and the weather. Mm -hmm. I love it. So you like uh, the people and the weather? Yeah, the weather's yeah. beautiful. I, I, you know, I'm from northeastern United States, so it's a lot. Of, it's, it gets cold and there's a lot of snow. Mm -hmm. So this temperature year round, I, I like. I can deal with it. I like it a lot. <laughs> oh, so you like uh, like kind of cool weather? Uh, where you come from, there's a lot of sun. There's uh yeah it's sunny yeah um there's sun but it snows it snows a lot in the winter time. Uh, what are kind of uh, do you have any Swahili song that you like so far? 
I like the uh, worship song that we were doing this morning at mm-hmm. church. It was uh, higher. Mm-hmm. We lift your name higher. Oh, yeah. oh. So it was really fun. It was yeah. really fun. There's a lot of energy and it was just really good. It got the blood flowing. Yeah. Good. So what what is the difference between the African music and the the your music like American? Um, I would say American worship, American music in general, um, and then between Africa and Kenyan music um, it Kenyan music Ken, Kenyan music has a lot more is a lot more melodic has a lot more melody yeah. a lot more rhythm um, and American music's just more slow chill yeah. mellow you know what I mean yeah <laughs> so which is okay it's just different styles you know yeah, yeah. so uh, do you like lay do you like uh, love our music I do I actually really love your music I love reggae I actually was I, I love reggae music as well Um, and uh, when I was a kid, I was like really, really into reggae music. You know, Bob Marley, Dennis Brown, Gregory Isaacs, like all the classic reggae guys, you know. Yeah. Love them so much. So there's definitely, you know, African roots there. You know, it's Jamaican, but it's African roots. Yeah. So I, I grew up listening to a lot of reggae. So hearing uh, the different styles of dancehall and reggae and stuff, I just love it. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Are there any yeah. questions up, Ivo? I just wanted him to sing for us and uh, Swahili so the guitar. A Swahili song? I'll tell you what, next time you guys interview me, I'll have a Swahili song down pat. <laughs> All I've right. only been here a week, so I don't know much yet, but, and then maybe another couple, like a month or so, you have me back on, Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll get a Swahili song going. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I understand, like, you are here for a very long time. People, yeah. Most people don't know that, but Mike right here is here for a long time, mm-hmm. and he's here also to do missionary works, and also to... Uh, train people maybe music and uh, football and stuff mm-hmm. yeah so he's here to do great stuff and uh, do great ministries so also if you are struggling maybe from drugs mm-hmm. or maybe there's something that in a kusumbua maybe phys- uh, emotionally uh, you can see mike here or, or you can just inbox us eh? mm-hmm. uh, you can inbox us and then we can connect you to mike and then uh, at least uh, he can assist you in maybe one or two three things if you know most africans like uh, when you tell them like uh, you are helping somebody they'll be like uh, they'll be like uh, they, they need money It's not all about like uh, the spiritual stuff and everything. <laughs> Any quiz you can have? No, Michael is going to take us on a musical journey. We just need another song from him, you know. It's uplifting. Yes. Another one? Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. Open the eyes. My heart, Lord, hey, open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love, so we sing holy, 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 holy. to see you open the eyes one more time open the eyes of my heart Lord open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you open the eyes of my heart Lord Open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you Thank you Lord Wow 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 Kolo Masaya pa hivi anasema anasema Mike is a welcomed so much and I wish to encounter with him. Mm, amen. Yeah, come tomorrow Apoivo Mike will be live. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mike will be live hapo CFA uh, live on CFRLM TV. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you are far from Nairobi you will be watching the show and mm-hmm. also Mike will be live. So if you are around Ruai or you are around Block 10 or Acacia or Matu around Nairobi you can come to Block 10 and watch uh, Mike perform live. You, you can't afford to miss this. And also kuna mm. uh, Rami videographer anasema na waona tuko mbele pamoja. Yeah, asante sana. Kuna itwa Rami videographer. Yeah, so we thank God for everybody tuned in and everybody trying to support the show and everybody that is trying to share the broadcast may god greatly bless you and thank you for being a blessing to one another so if you are watching us now live help us share the broadcast uh, take it to another level uh, end up a level invite your friends at least they can watch there may be there's something maybe your friend is going through and maybe my brother right here mm-hmm. can help you can help your friend overcome that mm-hmm. is that that easy so it takes you i might cost you no cent by just sharing this broadcast mm. at least it reaches many people how vipi mm. irene kabisa kabisa yeah eh eh na waki share pia wa make sure me comment yeah wa make sure me like mm-hmm. yeah na waseme habari za yesu uko nje eh yeah, kabisa yeah because from 2021 we're saying not drugs mm-hmm, yeah. we're saying yes to jesus christ yeah yeah mm-hmm. trevor sam pia ko hapo ndio hiyo namba nitafute mm-hmm. after show <laughs> Ameka namba yake hapo actually mtafuta after show maybe he has something that he want to discuss with you so Kolo is actually uh, requesting for the song again okay. yeah <laughs> yeah he'll be doing that again mm-hmm. uh mike is here for you he can give you some teachings one two three he can keep you company he can tell you like how he stopped doing all those stuff because mm-hmm. you know when, when once you are doing drugs you just don't do drugs you do drugs and crime right mm-hmm. yeah it, they, they go hand in hand there's not one without the other it just it leads you to crime and mm-hmm. crime leads you to drugs drugs lead you to crime it's just Yeah bad, because uh, you need money. Yeah, you need money. Yeah, so if you're not given money, you have to steal at yeah. least to get it, yeah. And the drugs make you so crazy that you'll do anything for money, you know? And mm-hmm. it's it's not you, it's not who you are. It's not who you were created to be. Yeah. It's the drugs that are just making you insane. But you can come out of it, you can overcome it. Come to us. There's no judgment, there's no condemnation, there's no guilt, no shame. I've been there. Let's just overcome this and just move forward in Christ. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And uh, also up if you can a comment from my sister, uh, my lovely sister Grace Felicia Wino, she's saying awesome. So, thank you very much sis for tuning in. Help us share the broadcast and let the broadcast lead to reach very many people. And uh, I know God shall uh, be lifted up on high. And there are those maybe people that are st- uh, struggling with those drug stuff and uh, uh, those uh, small small crimes, petty crimes or maybe even those big crimes. Feel free you are welcomed uh, to uh, Michael's uh, apartments there or maybe there's a place that is des- designated for that kind of stuff mm-hmm. maybe he can uh, welcome us to the church we we'll mm-hmm. learn at least one two three things there in church maybe he'll tell us maybe where we can find him maybe mm-hmm. maybe here in Rwai maybe anywhere at least he can uh, we can go there we can learn more from him at least maybe our lives and our minds can be transformed because the gospel is all about transformation mm-hmm. and uh, my prophet normally says a deliverance starts from the mind mm-hmm. and it starts from you That's yourself right. so if you have made up your mind to transform then boom you will transform and your life will mm-hmm. be better right Amen. yeah irene right. it's time for michael to tell us where the location that he'll be doing the transformation of mm-hmm. drug addiction mm-hmm. and uh, the people that the age limit that he wants or how he wants it to be done mm-hmm. yeah I would say um, where we're going to be doing it is at, at the church for sure. Mm-hmm. Block 10 mm-hmm. in Ruai, mm-hmm. uh, Revelation and Eternity Church. We can have meetings there. Mm-hmm. Um, we can get you help, um, whatever is necessary. I would say the best age group, the, the most, uh, I would say my sphere of influence where mm-hmm. I can be most effective would mm-hmm. probably be from, um, would be adults, 18 mm-hmm. and older. Mm-hmm. But I can also help teenagers as well. 13 and above when it comes to children that's a whole different ball game there mm-hmm. um i love children but when it comes to addiction and stuff like that there's just a lot more liability and different things going on there yeah so teenagers and above for sure yeah, yeah. so there are these people that are afraid to use our social media platforms mm-hmm. like you know i want to talk with michael but i can't use your social media platforms where they where can they find you actually Um if they can't use social media platforms I would say the church 100%. Mm. There's always somebody at the church. We are so active at that church. Mm. I mean, we are we're there I would yeah. say 70% of the week there's 
there, I'm there. Uh, if not me, someone's there around the clock, usually 100%. So. Oh my God, this question is like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so on behalf of ladies, I'm asking this one. Are you taken, searching, or well confirmed? Am I taking, mm. searching? Mm. You're well confirmed. <laughs> like, you know, when you're well confirmed, you're in a, a situation that you know what? Uh, I'm taken, I'm here. Oh, you mean like, am I single? <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I am single, but I'm living for Jesus right now. I got, my mind is, you know, I'm fully living, fully. you know, in the ministry for God. You know, I'm not, if, hey, I'm open. If it happens, it happens. Mm. But I'm not out there, like, searching. Yeah. I'm just living for God right now at this point. Amen. But, hey, if Hallelujah. it happens, it happens. If I meet somebody, mm. amen, praise God. Amen. amen. <laughs> yeah, and also, if you want to find Mike, uh, if you find me, you've already found Mike. So you can uh, DM me. At least you can arrange with him. I can look for. I will make sure, like I've looked for him, where I can find him. And at least all those things that we are going through, uh, the drug addictions, uh, those robbery stuffs, we can overcome them. So uh, don't feel shy. Always be ready to talk. And if you are willing, maybe to change from that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. feel free. We are always here for you. Mike is here for you, and he left his own country just to mm -hmm. come to assist you. So you can imagine that love that this guy has for us. Amen. It's a very big kind of love, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we are coming back after the Nob Mutani, and uh, at least uh, now we will be winding up with our artist of the day, the minister of the day, brother Michael Di Sabato. So mm -hmm. see you after the Nob Mutani. This is the Nob. Yo, yo, welcome back. That was the Nob Mutani. Yeah, I'm very much grateful. Uh, that's the part that Mina Pendangasana because we go outside there, people give us their views, how they feel about uh, that topic. So, uh -huh. Prophet Reverend Shadrach says, you are doing great, great. God bless you, Michael DiSabato. Serving is the great thing. Amen. That's great. Thank you so much, Reverend Shadrach Sr., the CEO. So, Mike, uh, there's this topic that we are talking about today. I want to give you, a, at least you give us your take as much as yes, but not from Kenya. I was asking, uh, what's your personal take on school reopening? Are we too fast uh, to on back to school? I say open it, 100%. I think uh, there's more damage being done with kids out of school. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the coronavirus is a serious thing. You know, it is. Yeah. But if you really look at the survival rate, rate and the numbers, especially with kids, I mean, you're talking a 99.99999 five percent survival rate it's the same as the flu they'll be fine they're doing more damage the kids are being damaged more by staying out of school mm -hmm. uh, getting into trouble mm -hmm. you know and um they need school they need socialization with their friends they need good activities and they need education it's very important that kids mm -hmm. go to school amen and the uh, prophet again is saying so glorious god bless <laughs> praise god bless amen. You, prophet. amen yeah so irene any more questions because you are about to uh, we are about maybe to go uh, go our ways to end up home. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I think Michael has answered all of the questions, mm -hmm. and we only need the music experience, as Masai Mark Masai said, mm -hmm. that he needs to listen to another song by Michael. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another one. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, he's saying like uh, you play. He, he requested for Holy Holy. Holy, yeah. Yeah. What is it? The the holy, holy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wanna play it again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can play it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a request, and then also you can add one more song. You can yeah. add one more yeah. song before we close. Okay, sounds good. I'll just do this one. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord Open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you Open the eyes of my heart, Lord Open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you To see you high and lifted up Shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power and love As we sing holy, holy, holy Holy Holy, 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 you 
holy, 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 I want to see you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence. Oh, this is my prayer for Kenya, for East Africa. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. One more time. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. We need your presence, Lord. We need your presence here, Lord. Right here in Kenya. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We need your presence. Fill this atmosphere, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. One more time. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome. By your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, Lord. amen, amen, amen. Uh -huh. oh, there are please. like a few comments here. Mm -hmm. Let me read here. Amen. Thank you, yeah, there's Reinhard Indiazi eh, eh. saying like, Hola, tune, tune the man's play for me, Mama by Rain. Rain Ria. God with Rain Ria. God with God will bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise Thank God. You Thank you. Yeah, so it's another wonderful afternoon and evening. Mm. I normally don't like like uh, Sunday to be, uh, just to come to an end because it's one of the most blessing days of my life. Because from church I'm blessed by the man of God. And then off church I'm blessed by you guys, by you guys tuning in. And right today I'm blessed by Michael Disabato here. You know, all the way from United States of America is not that kind of an easy journey. So Mike, may I just tell you like, uh, may God bless you. May God continue to lift you to high levels, and may God continue to make you a blessing to many people. Thank I'm going to bring Mike back maybe sometimes later. Yeah. At least uh, we can have a nice and a good talk uh, right here. So today we just welcome him at least to uh, tell us a few a few stuffs about tomorrow's event. And at least also him to tell us what are his experiences here in Kenya and what does he like to do here in Kenya or what transformation is he going to come to make here in Kenya. And at least a few guys here we have understand that at least uh, that's what I'm telling you guys help us share the broadcast at least those people that are struggling with the same things that Mike uh, want uh, you guys to recover from, at least you're gonna recover from them, still. Yeah, so uh, I didn't know. Are you done? Yes, the only word I can say is adios. <laughs> adios. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in. We are leaving, but my DJ is uh, going to be mm -hmm. giving you some fresh music, mm -hmm. some fresh vibe. So this is what I'm telling you. Don't touch that knob until the show is over. God bless you. This is the knob. <laughs>